What is going on YouTube? It's some cars passing by, so okay, it's gonna be quiet. All right, it's gonna be quiet, but guys, I am I'm about to be talking about my rare arsenal and a couple baits to use in puns slash lakes. The first, first off, we have my um, shaky head setup. This is a seven foot, um, seven, seven foot medium heavy. It's on a spinning setup. Got some good action. I love this. Setup. This setup right here run you about probably 140. Not that bad for a good spinning setup. Like this thing is like durable. It's durable. I love it. And I'm throwing it's a car passing. And I'm throwing um, 12 pounds up here. No, no lower than that. No lower than 12 pounds. Cause on a shaky head, man, you could catch a 10 pounder easy. Catch a five, 10 pounder easy, guys. But let's go ahead and move on to my next setup. Next up, we have one of my favorite setups. It's a classic. It's a classic setup. You guys know. Since I said classic, you drag it on the bottom, pop it. You guys know. It's my Texas rig. Texas rig throwing on 17 pounds of line fluorocarbon I don't go lower than 17 throwing a Texas rig because dude you can hook up to any size fish throwing a Texas rig dragging the bottom this is a 7.3 um, heavy action paired up with a SLX XT 8.2 gear ratio and I have two Texas rig setups so same thing same thing 7.3 SLX XT same thing guys but this one I use the same bait but a different color you guys kind of understand that I caught a lot of fish on that I've been throwing one time I was throwing this color and I only had one bite and I threw another color in the same exact spot and caught four fish back to back off another color so you guys kind of invest in that throwing two having two um, Texas rig setups Okay, once again, I forgot to tell y'all the price. This um, XLX XT is probably around 145. The rod is around 140, same as this one. So, looking about 300 for a setup, for this setup. Okay guys, now we have this awesome bait. This, I use this thing mostly all year round, all year round. It's a um, vibrator jig by Z-Man, OG name, Chata Bait. Pattern up with a um, a Dobbins Coke series with a regular XLX, dude. This reel is awesome, man. It's a hundred dollar reel. It's awesome. It's awesome. And this rod is probably like eighty dollars. I pay eighty dollars for this rod, and the reel is the reel was a hundred. So you're looking around about one hundred eighty dollars for a nice um, chatterbait setup. Caught some good numbers of fish up here on this setup. And the action is medium action, guys. You don't want a heavy action try to make rod only because man it's just it's just like having the immediate action on a chatter bait it's harder to get that fish off like if you have a stiff rod that the fish can easy throw that bait off because the rod's so stiff and it's building up pressure every time you move but yeah guys seven one the gear ratio is a six three it's awesome it's one of my best chatter baits and this is one of my cheapest setups so this is a budget setup right here guys really invest in this coat series all right guys next up we have the xlx xlx rod and the xlx dc reel this is my lipless crank um setup this all i throw on, on this setup it's really good this is a seven foot medium heavy you kind of don't want to um a, a medium heavy only rider trap but i kind of get away with that dealing with this um xlx rod because it's it's kind of a flex it's, it's kind of it's kind of flexible car coming it's really flexible and it's really a good rod. And I'm throwing it on, the gear ratio is a 7.2. I kind of want a car coming again. Hot diggity dang. Hot diggity dang, boy. Okay guys, I'm throwing it on a 7.2. Holy crap, man. All right guys, I'm throwing it on a 7.2. You kind of want a fast reel dealing with this lipless cause you want to, because most of the time when I'm fishing a lipless, I rip it up, pull it, get the line back up, rip it up, get the line back up, or I rip it through grass, get the line back up. You want a fast reel, but you want a reel too fast, like an 8-2. That's too fast throwing eight for it to throw this lipless crank. And a 6-3 is too slow. You're not gonna get that crankbait. You're not gonna get at a steady pace with a 
So in between like a seven, seven two, seven five, you can get away with this, throwing this lifters. So this is an awesome setup. SLX rod and the SLX DC reel. Okay guys, now we throwing, now we're going to some heavy cover, like basically popping off the bottom. So this is my jig setup. Hold on guys, another car coming. This is my jig setup, paired with a Zodian rod. Guys, I broke this rod probably like two, oh, well, three days ago, but I went and got a new one, so the rod tip is not broke. Hopefully this won't break. Man, it broke my heart, man. This is a 200, this is a $210 rod. $210 rod, all my rods fail, but it's all right. But I paired it up with a XLX XT. Same as my um, same as my test rig setup, and the gear ratio 8.2. You want a fast reel for dealing with jigs and stuff, cause that bass can pick up that jig and like literally just go with it or bring slack to you, and you want to get that slack back up fast as possible. So yeah, this is a seven um, seven seven five. Let me check. Yeah, seven five heavy action. Most of the time I throw seven three on my jigs, but dude. This rod is awesome, man. If you guys have enough money to like purchase one of these, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's an awesome rod. And my line, I don't go lower than 20 pounds throwing a jig. 20 pounds or I would go go to some braid, but you guys know I don't really use braid like that unless I'm frog fishing. But I need to put, I'm about to show you guys, but unless I'm frog fishing and stuff. But my go-to is 20 pounds that's it I never got broke off it's just just been awesome man it's been awesome next up we have my setup that I really don't like I care about it it's an awesome setup but this is one of my cheapest setup I thought that was my cheapest setup but this is my cheapest like cheapest setup this is a um, Shimano one of the old sellers rods this is a $70 rod and probably like I think this reel is like 75 so you're looking around like about $150 for a setup. But this is my frog setup. I know I'm supposed to have braid on, but guys, I have been catching fish back to back throwing floor carbon on a frog. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird, but guys, I don't, I'm not telling you to try it, but dude, it's been awesome for me. But eventually, I'm going to change it to braid so I won't break off on a monster throwing a frog because I know you're fishing a heavy cover going through logs and stuff grass pulling the fish through all that grass so yeah it put a lot of strain on the line but this is a six seven I mean a seven six um medium heavy guys I know I'm supposed to throw a heavy action but dude this you can get away with this medium medium heavy I love it I love it I probably won't even throw I probably won't even get a, get a heavy action um rod for my frog fishing because this 7.6 medium heavy is enough for me. It's like, I can literally like control my fish. I had a, um, it was every bit about five, about six pounds on this rod right here. And I like, I just drugged him. Like he, he was fighting. I could tell it was a nice size fish, but like I had control of him with this, with this medium heavy right here. It's an awesome setup. And this gear ratio is not on this reel. It was on a package. I think it was a 7.4. Seven, 7.4, seven four. Seven four, yeah, 7.4 um, gear ratio. This is an Abigail Seal um, Max Z. So, if you guys are looking for a nice, cheap um, frog setup, do it, guys. Do it. It's nice. Once again, another car coming. Busy, busy, busy roll, man. Busy roll. But I'm going to move on to my scrub bill setup. Okay, guys, now we is on my scrub bill setup. This is an X Age rod. It's a hundred dollar rod and paired it with a SLS DC. Um, 6 3 gear ratio. Kind of want a slower gear ratio dealing with crankbaits and stuff because you want to spend your time cranking that thing really slow and your wrist don't want to get tired. Like throwing like a 7 5 or 8 2 gear ratio, your hand gonna eventually get super tired cranking that crankbait like that. But on a scrub bill, like this, you could get away with a seven, like a seven-two gear ratio, but I don't prefer that. I prefer a six-three, so you could be comfortable 
reeling it. Yeah, you can be comfortable reeling it slow and steady dealing with this um this 1.5 Scorpio. But this is a seven foot medium heavy. Um, once again, XLS DC 63 gear ratio. This is an awesome setup for a um, Scorpio, man. You guys have to check this check this thing out. Look at the band on it. It's really, really, really minimal. Look at it. I'm, I'm barely like I'm barely moving it. I love it. Love it. I can't say every fish I hooked up to this haven't got off. Like they haven't got off. It's a nice setup. So guys, that would include like my reels and rods that I have like dealing with going to tournaments, pond fishing and lakes. But now we're just about to get into my like my pond fishing bag and like all the other stuff. But guys, this is the only bag I use for pond fishing. I'm show you guys what I got in here. Dealing with pond fishing, the only thing I had to do, get this bag and I'm, and I'm good. Got my hooks, I got my um, bobber stoppers, shaky heads, got some weights, I got some happy uh, worm hooks. Okay, in this bag, I have my, basically like my um, shaky head worms slash quiver. My next um, bag, I have like my crawls and stuff in this one. Uh, Cinco's, some more like crazy worms, like dealing with the tails and stuff. <clears throat> These called speed worms to be to exact by Zoom. And basically that's it and my ribbon tail worms. So that's all I need for pond fishing, man. And I have another little, another little pocket right here that I have like if I get broke off on my crankbait or like a jig or something. I have like a little package right here dealing with some frogs, um, scrub bill, jig, some more frogs, and more lipless. So, God, that's all I need dealing with pond fishing. Basically, that's all I need to, to go to like a lake fishing like and catch bass dealing with lakes. So now, guys, this bag right here is like basically like my soft plastic that I really don't use, but I really don't use, but it's some stuff that I can take out to go to a lake that they really hitting. And this is basically like my soft plastic um, bag right here. Ain't nothing too serious about it. It's just like a soft plastic bag. And this box right here is probably like some stuff that like, I really don't use no more. Like this is my crankbait box right here. Dealing with like, I got a couple like scrub bills, like lips and stuff like that my jig box got all kinds of jigs in here and like all different colors like dealing with dirty water chocolate milk water clear water so guys let me do a little explaining with the jig so just say if the water is really chocolate milk dirty and like the bass is like really not eating that well i would just go ahead and pick up this black and blue jig right here guys go ahead and pick up this black and blue jig pair it with a black and blue crawl so basically you you just gotta like a uh, fish finder right here with this black and blue dealing with dirty water so just say the water is like really like clear natural like clear and like a natural color i would throw this basically natural color jig this, this like imitate like a crawl or something i got it with i got it up with a um with a jumba crawl this thing was killing me. It was killing for me one of those days last week. Caught like 10 bass off this nice um, jig right here. And it's by Guggen. This jig right here by Guggen's. I don't really fish with they stuff like that, but they jigs are nice. I do like they jigs. So this is another dirty water slash clear water. You can throw Joomba color. So you guys can see that right there. Joomba color. And guys, if y'all seen this video this far i will be giving away let me find something to give away if you guys seen this video this far okay guys i'll be giving away this pack of stuff right here let me let me move the camera so you guys can see it okay i'll be giving away all of this right here i'll throw in this jig because i already got a um i already got a color i'll throw in this jig i would throw in this jig i would throw in this jig 
Let me get some cranks out for you guys. I know you guys, I know I know somebody wanted Supreme. Look at this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. never used it before, but I'll throw that in. I'll throw this Livingston in. And nah, I'm gonna keep that. And I'll throw this other Liv Livingston in. So I got all of this for basically for free. Basically for free, guys. So whoever um only thing y'all have to do, comment your PB Bass and basically like the video and subscribe. That's the only thing y'all have to do to win this stuff right here. And I'll be give it out probably I give it five days, guys. No, 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 no. Yeah, five days. Five days, and this will be out to one of you guys that looked at that looked at this video all the way through. But yeah, guys, I'll be giving away all that stuff right here. The only thing y'all have to do is comment under the video, comment your PB. Like the video and subscribe. That's the only thing y'all have to do to win this stuff right here. And I will pick out a um a winner in five days. Five days. You guys will can you guys can win this stuff right here. But guys, I'm about to cut the video short and I'm about to hit a pun up. So the next video y'all see is gonna be me fishing with the stuff. Me fishing with the stuff I show you guys um in this video. So Peace out, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Well, I will catch you guys when I'm on the water the next, basically this day, but it's going to be the next day that the video is going to be posted. So, all right, guys. Peace out.